Okay, so if you are using a star card, you might know. So we have a plugin for Edmark and uh, to add a black mark for print, green mark for cut. And uh, this video is to show you how to add the, uh, the plugin for easier mark editing. So in short, what we need to do is you will get a GMS file from our USB disk or you can, uh, you can ask me to send it to you. And what we need to do is simply put the GMS file into a GMS document. So the Corridor will have this plugin. And the way to find a GMS file, usually you just need to click the right click in your own Corridor and click the properties. You will find the locations uh, here starting. So in our case, it's in the uh, disk C. So what we need to do is copy the address and paste the address because usually, usually GMS file is located in here uh, for one, for six, and um, here I found the Kojo version. Okay, and usually it's in the DRAW file. DRAW file is GMS, and what you need to do put the GMS inside for the okay. So here I just uh, replace it. And then after you've done this, restart your culture. Uh, remember to restart your culture. And uh, then what we need to do is click the tool and find the option. And uh, then in workspace from the customization, click commands. And then in the file, click uh, to find the marker. And here you have it. You will find uh, something named uh, instant cut. And drag it out put it to somewhere immediately. So here we have it. Click this one to make my footprint and click position to green, like a piece, position to green. They can also manually add a map, but this one is much faster, right? So here you have it. Thanks for your time. And then you need to install the software for uh, Instacart. So just double click or click all the way to the next and install. And sometimes if you come across problem uh, for, to install the gem, the MSI file, you can just um, drag this drag this file out. I mean, it will ask you to replace because I have already installed. But if you don't, but if you if you to install the file, you can just drag this out and you will also get the extra color. And then double click if the uh, appear in error, you just need to right click and choose English will be okay. So here we have it. And another thing is you need to install the driver for the cutter. In our case, you have found the 32 bit, 62 bit XP VP. Uh, in, I'm not sure which model you buy, but for our case, this is this one. It's for XP VP. Just need a double click and uh, you just need to click install. And uh, that's it. You have installed successfully. Then we can connect the machine to test.